Okay, so why don't you tell us uh, your name and uh, who you are and what's going on with this beautiful bus, sir? Well, my nickname is Pastor Row Bus because I'm down the row in a bus. Okay. My real name is Richard Kuharski. Uh, I've had 24 different vehicles. This is uh, my latest bus. <laughs> this one I've had nine years. Mm -hmm. We have been to 10,817 churches. We give a testimony of the sins that we faced that we never wanted to face mm -hmm. so that I could be honest with myself and give a clean testimony to somebody. Yeah. The rich people, any people, but especially the rich to think they're better than the poor and the derelict and the maimed, the rich people, if they hide one speck, one spot, they're the same as us. And they do that. They just put on fancy clothes and fancy cars and fancy house and they have a fancy mess. <laughs> That's real. All right. Okay, well let's let's try this one. Well, I am a USA Christian. I really want to know what that means. Well, this one up here. I'm a citizen in the United States. So I'm over here. It's like being on Fifth Street. Well, I'm on Fifth Street. I'm from Fifth Street. Well, I'm also from USA, but I'm a Christian. I'm not a hiding Christian. I'm a working Christian with Christ. It's a teamwork with me and Christ. That's why he's with me. The difference between me and a lot of people is they like to be a Christian, but they don't want to face what they got in the closet. I had been raped in a Japanese prison cell. I, I was with the Hells Angels for a year, not a member, but with them for a year. I I've been in 42 prisons, but none of that stuff counts if you do your wash by taking each thought and feeling and cleaning it up. Uh, look at each thought and feeling, then repent This is all. This is heaven. This stuff's going to be pretty pertinent, so please bear with truth, whoever you are that sees this film. Look at this, please. Look at each, don't leave none out, each thought. Psalm 64, 6 says, make a diligent search of every thought you have and every feeling to understand your defective character. Now, if you do this, then you'll be able to repent instead of being confused. And then you'll get to the, all of it, you'll have a remission, and then the blessings come. You ain't getting no blessing until it's real. But I want to say this for God, okay? To ask any man and woman, can you get a gift from God while you hide your sins in the closet? The answer is no. Let's do it if you talk out loud. Okay, the peace is missing. Hello, precious. Are you a hippie? I'm a Christian. But are you a hippie Christian? I could be a hippie if it means I'm hip on truth. <laughs> this here, you can't read all of it, so I'll preach it to you. It says, if you talk out loud all your darkness to Jesus, you will come back to the Lord and you and your demons will flee. Hmm. When you talk your dirt out, the demons have no place to hide inside of you. A lot of people on this earth have sinned and had sin put on them. But nobody talks about the people that are drug addicts and alcoholics. And the reason why they're there, homosexuals and lesbians and all that, the deep stuff, those are the precious special people that had been sexed by demons at six months of age. And so they're using some kind of crutch to survive while everybody else knocks them. Thank God they've survived. The Word of God says my most unpromising people will be my most loyal advocates. That's why I'm doing this ministry. I've been to 10,817 churches. Pretty soon we're going to see a real people. Churches where? All over? All over the United What's States. What's this back here? I hadn't even noticed this. This is my power plant to keep the electric going. Oh, okay. <laughs> then keep my loudspeaker going. <laughs> this great big old toolbar is my crane to take out the engine out of the bus. Ah. Then it's a tow truck to push me if I stall. <laughs> There's a little house in the back here, but I want to show you something <laughs> unique about this little house. This is my headliner for the back end. You ain't getting away from me. If you get behind me, you're going to get caught. Oh, there. right in the back, yeah. <laughs> God is everything. <laughs> In the White House is nothing but a pack of power of darkness demons. 
Can we coach you on that? <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> really want to thank you. Uh, I'm running low on battery power. Amen. So give us your name again and let me get your contact information. My name is Pastor Robus. My real name is Richard Kuharski. And anytime you want to contact me, it's 760-622-7691. My P.O. box is P.O. 1364, Oceanside, California, 92051. And anybody who wants to contact me, I'll come in person and explain what I know. Because I only know what I know, but I know it thoroughly. Wait, in the name of this bus again? Yeah. <laughs> And the name of this bus one more time. What do you call this bus, Oh, hey, let me little, see. It's a little Noah's Ark. A little Noah's Ark. Yeah. Thank you very much. All right, it's been a pleasure. Thank you very much. I think this one will work better. I'm going to check it right now. Blaze out. Beautiful.